Rose police chief says they have several leads uh, as to how to find the man who broke into a home and stabbed a young woman. WBZ's Anna Myler is live in Melrose now with the very latest Anna incredible story. And Paula, the police chief, says that all of these break-ins are random and rare to happen here in Melrose. He says that teen who was stabbed is at home recovering well. And now detectives are following several tips and leads trying to track this suspect down. I'm just numb. We're both numb. We haven't processed it yet. William Westgate is visibly shaken, recounting how he was woken up by the sound of his daughter screaming. Got the stab wound to the throat. She was cut. In the back of her head she has a slash on the top of her head and she's also got a puncture wound on her shoulder westgate says around 2 30 tuesday morning a man walked into his home on line street took a knife from the kitchen and went into his 19 year old daughter's bedroom and she woke up to him standing over her with the knife he says the suspect had already rifled through his daughter's purse and then demanded she hand over her car keys that's when the teen tried to fight him off he grabbed her pocketbook that was next to her swung it at him hit it and that's when he started just swinging and trying to hack at her with the knife and that's when she got cut and i give her a lot of credit she fought back and this kid took off extremely rare very rare in all my years, I can't ever think of a home invasion in Melrose. Police posted this photo of a suspect they believe is connected to this incident and others in the area. Police say two cars were also stolen. This new video shows a woman chasing the suspect down the street after he drove off in her car. This was a random act. In every case, there was an unlocked vehicle or the front door of the house was locked. So I can't emphasize enough to everybody in our community or everywhere. Lock your doors. You have a and the police chief says that the suspect didn't make it very far in one of the cars because the fob was inside of the house and the car deactivated. A second stolen car was found in a different city, but it has been recovered. Police are now trying to get a better picture of the suspect. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Reporting live in Melrose, Anna Myler, WBZ News.